everyone. Welcome to my studio. This week I am hoping to finish up the sky. This part behind the tree is going to take a little bit of time, but this has been going pretty quick on this side. So I think I can do it. And then this will be done. Over on this workstation, I need to tidy up my pendant making supplies and get it all packed away so I have this nice clean work surface. Because Last week I made these three little beauties and I need to grout all three of them as well as painting the edges and the back to finish them off. it. So I'm going to send away a photo to my friend and then I'll have to start thinking about cutting it apart and packing it up and shipping it out. clean up this area where I was doing the landscape and pack it up so I can ship it off. Today I will be prepping, cutting apart, and packing this mosaic that will be shipped halfway across the country to my friend in Kansas. So I live in Georgia and my favorite way to deliver something like this is in person because then I can ensure that there's no problems en route. But this is a little bit too far for that. So I will be cutting this mosaic that I've made of the Pacific Northwest entitled Resilience to my friend in Kansas. And I started this a long time ago my friend had no time constraints, so she just said, take as much time as you want, which is about ideal. I, I can't, I don't think I've ever had a project without a deadline. 
So that was really, really wonderful. I will post a link up above to the video where I first began on this project, just so you can, if you wanna follow along on that journey, you can see that. I have selected a box that is 12 inches by 12 inches. So that is gonna be the size, um, my maximum size. The dimensions of this mosaic are 10 inches wide by 30 inches tall, and that's gonna allow me to cut it apart in 10 inch by 10 inch sections and still have a couple inches around the sides to pack it into the box securely. So anyway, let's get after it. I'm going to need several supplies to do this project properly. One is tape. I'll show you how this will be used. Another is a brand new blade on my knife, a ruler to make sure I get the dimensions correct. Then I have got some foam poster board, bubble wrap, insulation board, my box. Let me get started. Fine. So I have already measured off 10 inch increments and I'll be cutting this into three parts. I will try to stay as true as possible to a line that comes across, but it is dependent upon where the glass is. Up here, it's kind of nice because I have quite a nice horizontal where the, the sky and the sea are. And I should be able to follow this one right here between the sky and the sky rather than the sea and the sky. I didn't get very far and what I found was the blade of my knife was knocking the glass and making it loose, which I don't want to happen. Now I used the weld bond very sparingly so that this could be mounted on the wall with thin set or mastic as needed. But now I have to go back and glue these pieces on. So I think I'm gonna change my strategy and before I cut it apart, I am going to uh, lay some of this shelf paper on top, this clear shelf paper, just to hold everything in place from the top. Now, when they mount it, they can, they can mount it in the same way, and once it's set up, they can just peel the shelf paper off. So, not a problem. I'm a straight shot, so I put some pieces of tape uh, just as reference points so that we have something to line it up. It's kind of straight here too, so maybe I'll put one more piece right there. And I'll still cut right through there. sections now. So the next step is to prep my packing materials.
Now, I do have some installation instructions and suggestions that I will include in here. And these tabs are to make it easy to pull the whole thing out. Oops. They're attached underneath, so they have to both be pulled at the same time. I started these great little cardinals in class this week, and I did a demo for my students of how to apply beads with epoxy sculpt, but now I want to finish them off. And so I'm going to do them differently since they are a little different already. One's going to have this stained glass for the red, and this other one is going to use some illuminations tiles for the red part. And then I have some little eyes I need to glue on, and then I need to do the beak in the black. Then I'll be all done. be grouting them probably in black and adding felt circle to the bottom to finish them off. Really like this one with the illumination it kind of glows and then the iridized glass. That's putting it together. Thanks for watching. See you next time.